everybody should come up here and see what it looks like to see this fabulous crowd. Um, I'm David Dodson, and as a longtime board member of CLASP, it's a pleasure to um, provide another Southerner's welcome to this phenomenal organization, which I hope at, at the end of this gathering, everyone in the room will come to understand and know, um, and know better. This is really a meeting of, um, of the wonderful talent of the South and of Atlanta with the wonderful talent of CLASP. And when great people and institutions meet, um, I suspect wonderful things will happen. I love the title of this program, and I think we're going to have a wonderful um, opportunity to both elevate the significant challenges that we face as a region, challenges for which the South is really in many ways ground zero, the challenges of economic mobility, particularly for youth and young adults, um, for justice, and for equity, to examine those challenges, but more importantly, to begin to explore the innovative solutions that are being forged by partners on the ground, informed by the kinds of ideas and research that CLASP is able to provide. Economic mobility for youth and young adults is a national challenge but it is most pronounced here in the South. Here in this region, the chance that a child born in the bottom 20% of the income distribution will live in poverty, himself or herself, is twice the nat national odds. In other words, there is an anchor on upward mobility for young people in the South that is serious and pronounced. We really can't talk about having an American dream as long as that anchor persists. And it persists, as many of you know, particularly deeply here in Atlanta. Equity, the unfettered opportunity for a fair chance at a healthy, rewarding, secure life is still an illusion for too many people in the nation and particularly in the South, the poorest region of the United States. And then justice. While the nation has a serious problem with over-incarceration, those rates of excessive incarceration are again most pronounced in this region that I and Levita call home. These issues aren't going to change overnight. They really require a shift in three things. A shift in mindset. First and foremost, we have to throw away the old ways of thinking that emphasize scarcity, exclusion, and fear, and embrace universal well-being and opportunity as the ethic that guides policy and practice. And then we need to focus on those two things. Intelligent policy rooted in equity and practice that puts that policy into action. CLASP is actively working on all three of those things. By changing the narrative, CLASP changes the way people think about the future. By changing policy, CLASP puts in place the frameworks for a world that is more just. And by informing practice on the ground through partners, CLASP helps bring ideas to the ground where they can actually touch the lives of people and transform them. Change does not happen overnight, and we'll hear about that here. But if we despair about the present, I think the work of CLASP and its partners gives us enormous hope for the future. So thank you for being here for what I hope is both a sobering and a hopeful gathering.